everyone welcome back to my channel it is officially spring you guys know i love any good excuse for a reset for a fresh start so that's what we're doing in today's video we're going to get our lives together if you watched my prepping for new year's video you would know that i set reminders on my phone throughout the year to just check in with my new year's resolutions and see how i'm doing with them if i'm doing them at all and kind of just reevaluate like okay do things need to change what's going to make it easier for me to complete my goals all that kind of stuff so i set quarterly reminders and the first one is on april 1st, I believe the day after this is uploaded. So that means we are officially three months into the year. I told you guys that I would make a video documenting my experience doing these quarterly check-ins throughout the year and seeing if that makes a difference at the end of the year. So this is the start of that. We have a lot to do in this video, so let's get started. First things first, I'm going to very quickly fill you in on what my New Year's resolutions were in case you forgot, because honestly, I forgot, <laughs> which is not good. That's not a good sign, but it's okay. That's what this video is for. So my first one was to learn how to cook. That has been pretty successful. I signed up for a HelloFresh subscription this year and that kind of just forced me to learn how to cook and I definitely recommend it's a super easy way to learn so you're not having to grocery shop you're not having to meal plan you just follow the instructions that it tells you and the meals are always really good this is not sponsored I wish it was next one is invest in my personal style so to me that means more than just like what outfits I'm wearing I would say I've done pretty good at this right now I'm doing the 75 hard style challenge on TikTok so if you want to see what I wear every day go check out my TikTok but yeah to me investing in my personal style also means taking care of my hair, my makeup, trying to get ready as much as possible because that's when I feel my best, taking care of like my nails, like I want to like self tan in this video, stuff like that. I just want to put effort into my entire appearance in general, which I have been doing. I also want to have a good sleep schedule, which I was doing pretty well with and then I kind of slipped a little bit with that last week. I'll explain why later, but I'm doing okay at that. Next is read consistently, which I will not lie, I have not done at all. I started reading the Akatar series. I'm still on the first book, like not even that far into it. I just can't get into it and I feel like so many people are saying that the first book is so slow which is not encouraging me at all. I don't know I'm kind of struggling with that right now and I'm thinking about just putting that back on the shelf and coming back to it later and just starting a book that I know I'm gonna like. You guys know I am a sucker for a good romance book so I'm thinking in order to get myself to read again I need to just start another romance book because I know that I would like it. My next resolution was to read more self-help books which I also have not done and I do not have any excuse for that. I tried listening to the audiobooks of it, but I feel like I just get more out of it when I'm actually reading it. And I like to annotate self-help books too, so I can't really do that when I'm listening to it. So I'll try to go back to reading the physical self-help books and see if that makes a difference. Next, we have post consistently on YouTube. This I've been pretty good at. I have been easy on myself at times and given myself breaks when I need it. Like this past week was finals week for me, so I did not upload a video during that and I am okay with that. I think that that would have stressed me out so, so much and I was already so stressed. So anyways, basically I've been doing pretty good at that. I haven't missed that many uploads, I would say. And when I have, it wasn't just like for no reason. It was just during like busy times. I want to journal twice a week, which again, I haven't done that. I really haven't done well with my new year's resolutions so far. I have not been journaling and I want to work out consistently at least twice a week. I actually have been making progress on that. I recently signed up for a gym membership and I have been going. I'm still getting into like the flow of it, I guess. So this week will probably be my first week where I'm going like every other day. But that is all of my New Year's resolutions. Now that we're all on the same page, you guys know what I'm trying to improve on. I'm sure a lot of these are probably similar to your guys' resolutions as well. I feel like these are some pretty like standard ones that most people like to do. Right now I'm actually gonna go film a separate video. So it'll be nice to be like a week ahead in terms of videos because I'm doing two right now and that'll just help me with posting more consistently because that just gives me more time to work on everything. So that's what we're gonna do right now. guys, I just got done filming. I filmed a couple things. I filmed the 75 hard style challenge and another video that you'll probably see next week. I'm not totally sure. It's a sponsored video. So sometimes I am not in control of when it goes up. So we'll see about that. But anyways, I'm really happy that's done. I also just bought a microphone today, kind of like one that would be meant for like a podcast or something. I'm not starting a podcast, not right now at least. I have no idea if that will ever happen. I'm very open to it, but I don't think I would have time for one right now with school. But yeah, I'm not hinting at anything here. I did get a a nice 
nicer microphone though so I'm super excited because I want to do like podcast style videos where I'm just sitting down and talking to you guys for like a longer period of time and kind of just treat it like a podcast but just post the videos here on my channel just to kind of like see how I would feel about doing a podcast I don't know let me know what you guys think of that and leave me things to talk about but right now I'm going to work on my new year's resolution of working out more I've just been feeling a little bit weird today just a little off and so I'm thinking instead of going to the gym I really just want to be outside and I live in the most beautiful place ever so why not go outside so I'm gonna pick out an outfit and just do a really long walk right now what I'm doing at the gym is pretty much just 12 3 30 because I feel like that's what's easiest for me to like wrap my head around starting at a new gym is just kind of nerve-wracking I guess I don't know and so doing 12 3 30 I can just stay on one machine the entire time just do one thing I know what I'm doing I'm not having to like wait around for machines or anything like that and it's quick it's only 30 minutes it is a really hard workout though if you've never tried it it's harder than you'd think but anyway so since it's pretty much just walking on an incline I'm just gonna go walk outside we're gonna do that let's pick out a workout outfit set active sent me one recently so I'm thinking maybe I will wear that because I haven't worn it yet it's this like brown set usually I don't wear this color but we're gonna see how it looks today let's try it on all right here she is this is actually such a cute set let me show you in the mirror ignore how messy my room is but here is what it looks like the cut is super interesting this is actually really comfortable too I think I'm just gonna throw my hair in a low bun just so it's not in my way it's also probably windy and then I'm gonna fill up my water throw on my hokas and then be on my way Right now I'm watching an interview with The Bachelor and his final pick. I'm just obsessed with them together, so I have been watching a lot of their interviews. So yeah, that's what I'm doing this morning. I am obviously finished with my meeting. I just had some lunch. I'm kind of trying to decide like how I want to plan out my day, like just what I want to do today. I need to get a lot of editing done. Maybe we'll sit down after this and actually like write everything down in my planner. I feel like that would help me a lot. But I am opening this package from Gisu. I know what it is. I have seen other people receive this package and I was really crossing my fingers that I would get it too. All right, we have this box right here. It's super cool. So I guess they came out with some new lip oils or are they lip oils or glosses? Okay, technically a lip oil. I am so excited about this. I think they have had a sparkly one, but they haven't had a tinted one. So we have three colors. There's the strawberry sorbet, mango passion punch, and I think this one will be my favorite. This is watermelon sugar. Thank you so much to Gisu for sending these over. And then this next one is going to help with my cooking resolution. I have my next HelloFresh box. I haven't been cooking as much the past couple weeks just because it's been so busy. I've been home for spring break. Now we are back. I'm gonna cook tonight. First we have this soup. I've gotten this before and it's so good. I've also gotten this before. Next we have this sun-dried tomato spaghetti. Super excited about these. We'll see which one I'm feeling tonight. I'm leaning towards the soup though. So I am going to unpack all of this. They send little free goodies sometimes. So we have this chocolate orange and then we have the meals just in two paper bags. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about this. You get free dessert too sometimes. So I chose this this chocolate lava cake. All right, I am going to go take this all out and we're gonna plan out our day. Why am I feeling weird? 
tired today too. I'm just so tired. I'm not feeling motivated. I even woke up early today, but I still feel like I like wasted most of the day. It's one o'clock right now. I don't know why I'm feeling like this. Anyways, to cheer myself up, I need to actually get dressed because I feel like when I stay in my PJs all day, that doesn't help with anything. Okay, we are gonna wear something easy, but cute and comfortable. I know I wanna wear my cotton on jeans. These are always just my go-tos for if I don't feel like wearing jeans, but I want it to look like I'm wearing jeans just because these are just so comfy. Maybe I'll just go with this light gray top from Amazon. Maybe spice it up a little bit with some jewelry and like a cute purse. Let's do that. Okay, here is the outfit. I really like the way that this top fits. I think it's really cute. I am going to touch up my lip combo. We're doing the Hourglass Lip Liner in Fault 2 and then the Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Sweet Mouth. This is one of my favorites because it's such a light shade. So it adds this like really pretty shimmer. Oh, I should have tried one of the Gisu lip oils today. That would have been smart. <laughs> totally forgot. Speaking of, let's use their hair perfume. This is the shade, not shade, scent Wild Rose. I really like it. I'm gonna add a necklace. This one is super cute. I got this at Brandy the last time I was in LA. It just says always on my mind. Okay, I think this is gonna be it because I don't have a ton of silver jewelry. Maybe I should add some rings. I just really don't like the feeling of wearing rings, so I never do it, but I do think that they're really cute. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go to Target. I was deciding between going to a different grocery store or going to a coffee shop because I am just tired. Like I'm having like a midday slump right now. So I really wanna treat myself to some caffeine and I'm using that as an excuse to get out of the house because I also don't have creamer. So if I want coffee, I will have to leave the house. So what we're gonna do is go to Target. Maybe I'll walk around, look at all the home decor and stuff. I'll get some coffee creamer, get just like a few random things that I need and then come back home, make my coffee. And hopefully after that, I'm feeling a little bit more motivated. So let's go. in the car i got a good mix of like fun stuff and just the essentials so i will show you guys when i get home i'm pretty excited about the stuff that i got even though i feel like it's like adult type of exciting stuff if that makes sense like i got like kitchen stuff which i never would have gotten excited about a few years ago or something but anyways let's go home so good. I think this is the creamer that I used to use that I haven't used in forever because I couldn't find it. I'm like 99% sure this is it, but I have not been able to find it in forever and it is so, so good. And I just used it with the Calafia Farms Unsweetened Original Iced Coffee. Here is everything that I got. I will not even bother showing you like the boring groceries and stuff. I'll just show you the more fun stuff or at least what I think is fun. So I got this pink little Tupperware. It's just a bowl. I thought it would be nice to have one. I've wanted like a bowl shaped container for a long time. Just if I ever want to like take a salad on a picnic or something or like, I don't even know. It's just come up several times. So I figured I should get one and I really like this because it's pink. I got this ladle. I actually don't have a ladle and I thought this would be good for whenever I make soup like tonight. I have been doing a lot more cooking and I thought it be nice to have like an actual good cutting board not just like I was gonna say not just like a cheap one but this one was cheap it's just a little bit nicer than the ones that I have it's also non-slip and I like that it has the little like edges right here so that things aren't like slipping off I guess also for cooking I got this little olive oil I don't even know what you would call it just to like pour it in a pan because it's really annoying pouring it from the bottle I always end up doing too much I also got this little glass I just thought this would be cute for coffee it was only like three dollars and I just like the way that these like taller glasses look I also got a picture frame. I actually thought that this would be really good for the kitchen. Maybe by the dining room table, there's like a small wall I'll show you. Like right here next to the fridge, the wood matches with like the wood shelves and my bar stools and everything. So I thought it could be fun to get like a cute little kitchen print on Etsy or something and then print it out. I was honestly just in a shopping mood today because I haven't been shopping a lot, honestly. And I decided why not do some retail therapy? So maybe that wasn't the healthiest thing to do, but it was fun. But yeah, that is all I got. I'll see you guys later. 
little bit later, it was time to make dinner. I put on a show, washed my hands and got started. It was so easy. Literally all I had to do was dice this onion, which I'm still not very good at cutting things. I feel like it kind of takes me a while. Like I am just scared to have a knife in my hand, but it was super quick and easy. I basically just had to cut it and then throw everything in a pot. I also try to clean up as I go. So I was doing that and then I hand washed the ladle and the olive oil bottle that I had just gotten at Target. Just kept mixing everything up and then once it was done, I served it. Honestly, it does not look appetizing at all. Some things just don't look appetizing on camera, but I promise it was so good. So yeah, I sat down, watched my show and had some dinner. Twelve thirteen. It's definitely later in the day than I would like it to be right now. Before I keep going, you know what we're gonna do? We are gonna test out the new microphone that I got. Here is the microphone. It's the Blue Yeti. I'll have it linked. I chose it because Alicia Marie recommended it in one of her videos. I'm still learning how to use it. We'll see how the camera audio compares to this. Okay, I just got it set up, so let me know if the audio sounds any better. I'm not gonna be using this all the time because obviously it's like a heavy, big microphone that I can't just like carry around with me. But settings like this where we're just sitting and chatting, I will be using it, which I'm super excited about. But anyways, I wanted to chat with you guys about, I guess, the progress that I'm trying to make on my New Year's resolutions. First of all, I was listening to Ava Jewel's podcast on my drive back to Santa Barbara, and she said something that really resonated with me. She was talking about how she doesn't feel motivated anymore from like the new year. The fact that it's 2024 is just not inspiring her. We're already used to it. But what can inspire her is that spring is here. It's a new season. It's a fresh start. You know, everybody's doing their spring cleaning, spring resets, all of that. So that is the motivation that you can use to kind of get back on track with your goals. And that's the motivation that I'm using. I still am excited about 2024. I just feel like it's gonna be a good year, but I think spring is just a perfect excuse to get yourself motivated again. So if you're struggling with fixing your new year's resolutions and getting back on track, just keep that in mind. You have a fresh start. Take what you need from the first three months of 2024 and leave what you don't. So what I want to take with me into spring is my sleep schedule. So in winter, last quarter, I had four 8 a.m.s, Tuesday through Friday, which I feel like is not super common in college. At least I haven't had anything like that. I don't even think I've had an 8 a.m. in college until last quarter. So anyways, I was waking up early every day and it was actually kind of nice because I got in a good routine and I don't have four 8 a.m.s again next quarter. So I'm not going to be having to wake up quite as early, but I also don't want to just like fall off track and let that be an excuse to just wake up half an hour before my class starts, roll out of bed and have no like me time in the morning. You know what I mean? I want to be a morning person so bad and I swear, I think I am. It's just that I am such a deep sleeper. It is so hard for me to wake up in the mornings, but anyways, that's a whole other topic. We won't even get into that. So that's something that I'm working on. The past couple days, I have been getting up around eight. I got up at like 7.30 one day, then like eight. Today, I kind of slacked off a little bit. I forgot to set alarms last night, so that's why I didn't wake up early. I was still out of bed by like 9.30, which is like fine. At least I'm not in the double digits, especially because I don't technically have things that I need to like be up early for today. But today I thought that I would have kind of a relaxing morning, I guess now technically afternoon because it's 12.24 now. But yeah, I'm gonna do things that I enjoy so that later I am like in a good headspace for when I need to sit down and edit for hours. I hope that makes sense. Usually I would do it the other way around. I would get stuff done first so then I can have like a nice rest of the day, but I just wanna do my fun stuff now. So we're gonna try that. I am going to read. That is my next New Year's resolution that I want to actually follow through with because I haven't been. Like I said earlier, I'm reading the Akatar series. I honestly just need to take a break from it. And we are going to read a romance book. So one of my friends recommended this one book. I need to look it up and see if I have the title right. Okay, it's Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. We are going to download that on my Kindle and start reading. Normally I would be a little bit hard on myself right now and would be mad at myself for stopping a book just because I don't really want to keep reading it. But honestly, if it's between not reading at all or quitting a book and just starting a new one and then I do read, I would rather have the second option. So that's the first thing on my agenda today for ways to get back on track. I know the past couple days, like the first part of this vlog was just kind of a mess, which was not planned. I was just having some days where I was not mentally feeling good. So again, I'm not gonna be hard on myself about that. We're just gonna keep going. I know that reading is going to make me feel better. So that's what we're gonna do. for a little 
while. I ate lunch and I honestly went on my phone for way too long because I am once again having an off day. I don't know what it is. I did not get the best sleep last night, so that could be why, but I really am trying to turn my day around. Right now I'm going to work on another one of my New Year's resolutions that I have not been doing, which is journaling. So I've showed this journal before. This is a moleskin journal. Journaling is just never something that I have the urge to do, but it always makes me feel good when I do it. I am one of those people that mostly just journals when I'm feeling sad, but I don't want to look back on my journal and only be reading about like the dark times of my life. So I am going to journal right now. My New Year's resolution was to journal twice a week. So I feel like that's really reasonable. Another way that I like to journal is manifesting. This is my manifestation journal. It's from Michaels. Whether you believe in it or not, it is something that always makes me feel good. It's almost like a form of like words of affirmation. I would definitely recommend trying it out and seeing if you like it. I think we're going to do both right now. I'm going to write in my normal everyday journal and then we are going to do an entry in my manifestation journal as well. That was the end of this video. I didn't record an outro, but I just wanted to come on here for a second. I feel like this video didn't totally turn out how I was envisioning it. I was expecting it to be much more like structured and productive and it kind of just wasn't. It was kind of all over the place, but I wanted to make this for those of you who watched my New Year's video, set those reminders on your phone and wanted to really work on making progress towards your goals. Yeah, I just wanted to make this video so that we could do that together. So this was my very real update, I guess, on my resolutions and how I haven't been doing them, but we are getting better. I'm getting back on track. I really do feel better after making this. I feel like all I needed was to just start. I started reading that new book and I already feel so much better and inspired to read. Like I'm excited to finish editing and go read after this. Same with like working out. It took forever for me to just start, but now that I've like been going to the gym, it's really nice and I feel so good about myself afterwards. Unfortunately, working out really does improve your mood. I don't know what I'm even trying to say here, but I'm just glad that I did all those little things because I feel like that's just me setting myself up for success and so if you have been putting off doing something this is your sign to just start I just think you'll feel better if you just go for it even if you don't have like a plan like with working out I didn't know what I even wanted to do like what my goals were at the gym but I just started going anyways and just did what I felt like and now I know what I want to do you know what I mean rather than like waiting until your plan is perfect I don't know does that make sense let me know I think you guys get my point I am just gonna end the video here thank you so much for watching I hope Hope you guys have an amazing spring or whatever season it is where you live comment a pink heart if you made it up until this point and i will see you guys soon with another video bye